All right, hello everybody. This is Maxwell Stringham, your trusty tech trainer, here to help you out with some VLOOKUP functionality, specifically how to use VLOOKUP when you are using more than one Microsoft Excel workbook in order to download and follow along by uh, uh, utilizing the Excel workbooks that I'll be showing you today in this video. You can go ahead and go to this shortened URL and uh, download the two Excel workbooks that are in the Google Drive folder that is available through this link. It's uh, Again, this is a case sensitive shortened URL, so anything that's capitalized must be capitalized. Anything that's lowercase must be lowercase. We'll be using these two files, uh, this abbreviation for employee deductions and this one for job salary records. So with that, let's get going. Now, we have two folders or two Excel workbooks here. We have job salary records and we have this employee deductions worksheet. Now with these two, um, whenever I'm working with two, oops, excuse me, whenever I'm working with two Excel workbooks, I like to be able to uh, see them both side by side. So the first step that we're going to want to do is click view and then click arrange all. After we do that, we go to vertical and then click OK. Now what that did is that just arranged the two Excel workbooks side by side uh, with the two, uh, arranged them side by side in two vertical columns. Now to go ahead and get started on our goal, our objective is to create a new column titled, uh, go ahead and type it in here, it is going to be titled annual salary and this is in column O of the employee deductions workbook now in order to populate this we will use the VLOOKUP functionality so in order to get started with our VLOOKUP function uh, we need to go ahead and start with an equal sign as we always use an equal sign to start any function in Excel. So equal sign, first step. Then I type the lookup. V lookup stands for value lookup. Now, why value lookup? Well, because the first step of this function is because we are looking up a value. This here that pops up underneath is sort of like a display or a legend of how the VLOOKUP function works. So lookup value. Now, uh, what we are going to indicate for this first field of our function is what value do we want to look up? Well, we want John Smith's annual salary. Now, we can't just look up his salary straight up, but we know that his salary is listed in another folder in this other workbook and that his salary is listed relative to his employee ID number. So what we're going to do is look up his employee ID number in the other workbook. So I selected John Smith's employee ID number, A2, as I am working in row two. And I want to populate this part uh, of this column, row two of this column. So A2, comma to move on to the next step. Table array. Now, table array, basically, uh, this is the part of the function where we tell the computer, hey, go ahead and look in this array or this region of the table for the value that I just told you to look up. So, um, we don't want to look in this same workbook. This is the employee deduct deductions workbook where we want it to wind up. Instead, we're actually going to click over here and activate this one, we want to highlight, or not highlight, select this entire array of this table, all the values in this table, as this includes all of those employee ID numbers and also includes the annual salaries that are relative to those employee ID numbers. Now I click back over to this sheet and I can see here that the job salary records Excel sheet is titled in the single parentheses and then the exclamation mark finishes the title of that worksheet. Basically, that's the part where it tells the workbook, hey, or that's the part of the function 
excuse me, within this part of the function, it's basically saying before that exclamation mark, hey, go over to this other file, pull the array from there. This right here is the relative coordinates of that array. Now we hit comma to move on to the next. Uh, column index number. Now the column index number is basically going, uh, this is where we indicate in our function where within the array that we just selected so again within the array that we just selected within which column of that array is the data that I want to pull so one last time within the array that I just selected in which column of that array is the data that I want to actually pull. Now, we already know that we want to match it to the uh, employee ID number that we have listed in A2 of this file. We know the arrays now. We know the array selected now. Now, column index number. So we jump over to here to pick our column. Now, unfortunately, in Excel, columns aren't actually already indexed by number. Columns are indexed by letter. So this may seem a little problematic, but Excel makes this easy on us by simply making it so that A would be indexed as a 1, B as a 2, C as a 3, D as a 4, and so on and so forth in intervals of counting up by 1. So uh, with that, we would just count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So column I, if it were indexed as a number, would be indexed as number nine, column number nine. So I go back over to here and hit the number nine. Uh, then I go ahead and uh, put a comma because I'm finished with that part of my VLOOKUP function. Now this is the final and easiest part of the function. If we select true approximate match, then what this does is basically is telling the function, hey, I don't really care if the match of the data you pull is exact. It, it can just be approximate. Now, we don't want that. Um, again, if you select true approximate match, it might just give you some rounded numbers, some numbers that are a little bit off, but we don't want that. We want false, exact match. So in order to select that, we need to double click false, exact match. And then I hit the uh, parentheses, close the parentheses brace and hit the enter key and voila just like that uh, this cell has now been populated with uh, John Smith's salary of 54,454 now in order to apply this function in a relative manner to the rest of the people on or in this sheet we can go ahead and apply it to them by placing our cursor over the corner of the bottom right corner of this cell that we have selected. So again, select the cell that already has this function already written out in it. Place the cursor over the bottom right corner so that the uh, cursor indicator turns to a solid black plus sign and then click and hold and drag it all the way down to the bottom of where you want it to be or the bottom of where you want to finish applying this function in a relative manner. Now when I say applying it in a relative manner, what that means is that everything that, uh, how I indicated in this guy, John Smith, I said to look at A2 for his employee ID number. Look in column A of this row, of row two. Then I'm saying, all right, then for this guy who's down in row 73, I'm saying, well, go look at column A of row 73, as you can see here in the VLOOKUP up top. Uh, same thing though, so the array is still the same, the table array is still selected the same, and the uh, column index number is still the same because I'm still pulling his salary information from the same part of the same, uh, excuse me, the same column of the other uh, table and I am also still indicating false because I want that value to be exact. So with that, uh, we are almost finished. 
uh, as you can see, these values are not formatted the same as the number values over on this other table to the right. So in order to fix that, we can select them by again placing our right cursor or placing our cursor over the bottom right corner of the selected cell and reselecting all of these again. And then uh, we go to Home, Tab, click Number to change our number formatting. This is where we go to Format Numbers. And we can choose dollar signs, percents, etc. However, we don't want to just do dollars. Uh, we don't just want to set this as a money format because this is not just formatted as dollars and cents. Instead, we want to make sure that we are exactly the same. So we go to, again, um, that was number. And then uh, under the number tab here, we go to the number category for number formatting, then decimal places we choose to show two decimal places or to show the decimal uh, two places to the left of the last digit or integer uh, to show the hundredths, I always show hundredths, and then select to use the thousands separator with a comma. Click OK and now, voila, we are finished. It is exactly the same. Every person's salary has been populated in this list exactly the same as they are in this list. However, it's not just a simple copy and paste. They have been populated based on the VLOOKUP formula, which looked them up relative to their employee ID number. That is all. If you have any questions, please do contact me in the comments section below. Uh, and I am always here to help.